Hey there, it's Elizabeth, and welcome back to another How to Make a Junk Journal with me video. So, if you watched Wednesday's video, let me take a sip of water. Thank you. Okay, sorry about that. Um, if you watch Wednesday's video, we made just the cover. Yeah, it took an hour. It was painful, but I thank you for watching it. Uh, a lot of times, you know, when I'm doing these how to make a junk journal thing, you know, some people, if you're more a more seasoned crafter, you know, you don't need to watch something like this. And then other people really want to see every little step. And of course, again, if you watched Wednesdays, there were fixes and, you know, things that I, well, that I think I messed up, you know, and so I fix them and I just, I like videos that show the mistakes because then you can learn something from me instead of having to, you know, learn it on your own. <laughs> Although we should always learn from our mistakes. So this is what it looks like now, okay? And I am loving these little journals. Now, I make it out of, I should have got one. I make it out of a white envelope, okay? Like this, all right? A large white envelope. It's 9 by 12. I got them for some reason a few years ago. <coughs> Excuse me. And I have a whole box of them, so why not use them, right? Uh, if you want to see Wednesday's video, of course, it'll be linked below. So that's where we made the cover. And then off camera, I went ahead and did, you know, the most painful thing, which is sewing in the signature and all that stuff. So today we're going to do a little flip through this and then we're going to use these things here, right? To make a tassel for the side. All right. One of y'all had asked me if I had a video on how to make a tassel and I don't know if I do or not. So, you know, okay, this is dyed seam binding and I've dyed it myself. I, I could try to search. I'm not sure for a video if I have one, I'm not really sure, but, uh, yeah, it, they don't even sell the seam binding anymore. I don't think it, you, it was a hug snug. I don't know if they sell it anymore or not. I don't think so. Anyway, I also glued on these little rosettes. I have been waiting for the perfect time to use these little rosettes and this is it. And then I just, with my Dymo label maker, I made February, 2023 on here. We are in 23, right? I hope so. Little eyelets for the closure, okay? It makes, this envelope makes just a one signature journal. And I put in here, 16 pages so that I could have a double spread for each day of February. Okay, now this page, I did not count the vellum page and I did not count the doilies and I don't think I counted the bag. But otherwise, the you know, the full pages, there are, um, there are 16, I believe so. And they're just made out of various papers, either my own dyed papers, which uh, to dye my papers, I use food coloring. Uh, I do believe it is in the description box below. And yeah, otherwise it's just, you know, books that I have that I tear up. So sometimes if the page is too big, I just fold it over. When I go to journal on the page, I'll be able to decide, oh, do I want a pocket here? Do I want it open? You know, whatever. Um, so typically, one day would be on here like you know wednesday was february 1st so i would put february 1st on this double page spread i might decide to rip this off i might decide to fold it in this way and make a little pocket it all depends on what's going on that day so then on this page here i might do a cutesy little you know welcome to february i don't know i might put a calendar on here that's always helpful to, to look at Okay, so just regular pages, right? I did throw in some red and pink doilies. So when I come to this part here, it again, it all depends on what's going on in the day, but I would use these two pages as the spread, okay, for the day, like February 2nd or, or whatever. And then if I had extra stuff, I could use this, make something out of it, put something, whatever, or just leave it as a floppy thing, you know? music paper, matte paper, this is bond paper. Um, I had the intention of using this for a different um, journal, 
and yeah it was just an extended page so I used it in here another little cute Joy Lee this right here like on a page like this you know again this would be my my page spread let's say for February 1st I might just leave this as it is and just you know me and my quotes if you've been here at all you know uh, and welcome if you're new here I would just put a quote on here and call it macaroni you know and then just do my journaling for the day on this page so it's, it's all open to however you know I want to do it when the time comes all right <coughs> excuse me um, another flip out page I can either flip it out I could make it a pocket whatever here's just a piece of scrapbook paper here is just that okay a, a pink doily some vintage papers plain paper here's a paper bag that I can use this is folded out I just love this you know so I could I could actually cut this off and cut this off and make it a pocket if I wanted to you know that would be cute this part right here just cut this and this off and then I could glue it down and make it a pocket this would be part of the previous day's page okay so there's that dyed paper again again I do it with a uh, food coloring I love the way it comes out and then this here again this is a cute little picture with a nice little quote and so I'm just gonna probably leave it like this you know and I'll journal on this side of the page on this side it'll be different you know I won't be it will be a flap because I won't cut this off to cut the quote off other side of the bag I can easily slit this and make it into a pocket probably will at a later time here's regular paper um, the other side of the doily and the other side of the book right all these cute pages so super cute and then this is just like a cover sheet it's a uh, printed vellum I love this so much I typically do not do anything on the front or back covers on this because it is originally an envelope I have a little pocket here right that I could put you know who knows a Valentine's Day card or you know whatever so there you have that. If you want to know how I put this all together, actually, no, I didn't, I don't, I didn't film how I put it all together. I saved you that agony because just making the cover took an hour. Okay. So <laughs> give it a gander if you, if you have the endurance. Okay. So now today, what we're going to do is this is all ready to go, but one of you guys asked if, if I would show you how to do a tassel and that's what we're gonna do now what I do on my journals and I got the idea from uh, Natasha at treasure books when I'm sewing in I'm not like the neatest hole puncher but anyway when I'm sewing in my signature I sew in a little loop at the top all right first that is what is going to hold my lobster claw that's gonna then hold the dangle okay and I just take uh, embroidery floss and I loop it around like three times, tie a knot in, you know, there it is right there, tied a knot, okay? And that is what is going to hold my little lobster claw. Now, you know, there are a lot of different ways to do it. This book does not have a spine per se. Like, I mean, this is the spine, but it doesn't have an extended spine, right? So there's really no room to put like a, um, an eyelid in or anything like that if I had a spine I might go ahead and do that but this is why one of the reasons sorry if I was out of frame one of the reasons why I like this method is because if you were to put an eyelid up here on a red like on a regular book let me see golly day this video is gonna be forever too oh let me just get a regular book okay let's just use this one right here because it's right at hand if I was to put an eyelid right there right that would be fine and dandy, but then you'd have to have something else to put your ring on, okay, or to put your lobster claw on. Now, you could loop something over the top of it, you know. Uh, let's see what I have here. Like something like this, right? You could loop that, but personally... I don't like the look of that. I don't like something sticking out of the top of my book. So that's the reason why I do it this way. It just, I don't know, it just makes more sense to me. Okay, so let's just get started. 
I use a little bit of a chain. I got this on sale probably at Michael's. It came in a spool. So I use that. Oh, is that one coming off? No. Okay. I use that. Look. Okay, right there. A bulb pin. I'll be using that. This is what I'm going to put my tassel on. So it's just a jump ring, a large jump ring. Here is a lobster claw that is going to be attached to said jump ring. This is going to attach this jump ring onto that lobster claw. Okay? So, those are the things you need. I am wheezing for some reason. <coughs> Excuse me. Golly day. All right. Here is... Um, this. These are the things that I... Some of the things that I use. I have little things here little things here you know here's the chain that I use jump rings you know just wanted to show you that in this cute little container I just started making these I mean so many people make them and I've never had the urge this is a sweet little kit my kids got me for Christmas so this makes your life so much easier I will leave the link below unless it's already there in the materials part that I use. I don't know how to use all these things. I use these things, but anyway, it's whatever. It, it I mean, there's a reason why these are like this. I don't know, but we're not going to worry about that. Okay. So now I'm going to get some of these out and this is how let's scooch that over there. All right. These, I found this at, uh, Salvation Army a few years ago down when we used to have a house in the keys and they were like $2 a piece, okay? And they're like in a rainbow color. So they're just fibers, okay? Uh, yeah. You can make a, a, you know, a tassel out of anything. Ribbons, you know, whatever you want. This is just how I make mine. So I look at the, at the spine, right? And, oh, let me just show you an example. If you're new here, what I'm even talking about. This is what I'm talking about right here. Okay, this is a tassel. It has all kinds of fibers on it. My little chain is on there with, you know, doodads. I always put a shell on there because I live by the beach and, um, you know, little, little things, right? So cute. Little handmade tag there. And then here is the lobster claw that attaches to that cute little loopy at the top. Okay, so that's what we're going to make. Now, what I do is I take the length of the spine and a little bit less, okay? Like a half an inch less. And then I fold it, right? Okay, so it's gonna hang like this. I don't want it to hang below my book, all right? So it's gonna hang like this. I hope everyone can see that, yes, okay? So, Let's wrap that back up and I should have picked these out ahead of time yes I realized that however I did not so there you have it okay and I don't even know if I want Ooh, who doesn't like some eyelash trim right I hate cutting it I can tell you that and I hate finding the end of it but let's see here come on now, if this is going to give us a time, we're not even going to bother. <sighs> okay, we're not bothering with that. All right, let's just start with that. Let's get this out of the way. All right, now I stretch it out like this, okay? So now I have a gauge as to how long I want my, um, my you know, things to be, my thread to be. Let's pick this, that's cute. So we're gonna make it as long. This is really pretty trim. I don't know if I wanna put it on here, but I'm going to now. So there we go, cut that, put that back in the bag. I don't really put all too much on here, okay? Here's a bag of red. So we're gonna take this sparkly stuff, cause why not? Now, my book doesn't have red in it, but I don't care. <laughs> We're going to do what we want to do. Okay, so I'm just getting a piece out and measuring it up against what's already down there and cutting it. Isn't that pretty? I mean, it is after all Valentine's. Not that I celebrate Valentine's. We don't. But let me just look in here and see if there's anything else I want. 
at the moment. Here's another sparkly. That's pretty, huh? Yeah, we'll use some of this. This has cool stuff on it, so why not? You know, take a gander at your local thrift store, okay? Yes, take a gander at your local thrift store. So here we have purples. Um, so we're just going to get a few out. So what do we have here? One, two, three. So far we have four. Here's five. Does it matter? No, it does not. Five. Um, well, that's pretty. Five. And it has some green in it. So six. Okay, we need some pink in, up in here. All right. So let's see. I did pick this out. Let's see. I don't know. See, this isn't very flexible, but it still is pretty darn cute. So maybe we will use some of that. Okay. That, I do believe I got at uh, Dollar Tree probably. So visit your local Dollar Tree. They do have some really cute ribbon there, I have to say. We will put this in there. This is just some seam binding. No, no, I just want it this way. <laughs> Get with the program. Okay, there's that. And I thought about that. Now we're, ju we're just getting crazy here. Hmm. All right, and then I like this. <laughs> Isn't this fun? Like little pom-pom trim, that's cute. Okay. I don't think we're going to put anything else on here, although, look at all that. Eyelash trim. Hmm. I don't know. All right. Okay, you talked me into it. We'll put some of this, like, darker pink. Okay. Now, now this is what you do, okay? You have, a, you have them all like that, right? <laughs> I know that makes sense, but you're going to take it in the center, all right, take it in the center. And what I do is I twist it. Now, I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but we're gonna find out. Now, we're putting it through the ring, okay, the larger ring. I have my hand on one side of it so as so it doesn't uh, um, do that. All right, let's bring that through. Okay, now, see, we have the jump ring Okay, in the center, we have this on one side, that on the other. Now, this is something that just I do, okay? I look for this, here's the center of the jump ring. If I don't know if you can see that or not, but here's the center. I'm going to turn that downward, okay? And then I'm going to fold the, um, the fibers over, okay? Fold the fibers over like that. All right, now this is gonna hang off of here like like that, okay? So they're not gonna be hanging all toward the bottom and all that stuff, all right? All right, so from here, I take this, which is em embroidery floss. This can be a little tricky and I'm probably gonna go off camera for a sec because I have to use my mouth, <laughs> my teeth, I know. Um, Anyway, okay, so these are all on here nicely. Now, you could, it doesn't matter because you're going to secure it around here with the embroidery floss. So if you wanted to like pull one and make it longer or shorter, you know, it. you do that now, okay? I'm not going to, but anyway. So I take this kind of in the center and I go right below the ring, okay? Right below the ring. Can you see that? And I just start wrapping and pulling, you know, tightly, okay? Wrapping and pulling, wrapping and pulling, okay? Then I take this one here, uh, hopefully, and I go around the other way, all right? Wrapping and pulling, wrapping and pulling, okay? Now let's see where we are. I know it's hard to see, I got my fat fingers in the way, but nope, that one goes that way. 
All right, this one goes this way. All right, now we're gonna take these two, right? One's on one side and one's on the other side, okay? We've wrapped it around. All right, if someone has an easier way of doing this, please, please share. Okay, now we're gonna tie a knot, all right? As best as we can with one hand. Okay, and it has to be, you know, a, a tight knot, so that's why I usually end up using my teeth, which I'm gonna do right now. So, one moment, please. see okay now we can lay it down now that's not a knot so you need to be careful not to loosen anything all right now we're gonna tie another a knot okay there we go and tassel is made okay now we I just for good measure I flip it over and I tie it on the other side as well nice and tight as tight as you can make it you know And there we go. And these you don't have to cut off. You can just leave them on there, okay, as part of the dangle. Now, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this jump ring and what you do with the jump rings is you hold it with your pliers on one side, hold it with the pliers on the other side and you twist it, okay, like that, okay? Again, like this, not like this that weakens the metal so you want to go like this okay so now we're gonna put this on there okay and we're also gonna put our lobster claw on there we'll put the lobster claw on one side okay and then we're gonna put our chain on the other side and hope you know what wait cuz these chains, let me tell you, they don't appear to me as though they're like put together very well, just saying. So I'm gonna, I'm using the wrong tool, I'm sure, but I'm gonna try to get that closed a little better. Okay, so we've got our lobster claw on there and now I'm putting the chain on there, okay? the chain on there as well because I like hanging things off of a chain it, it makes it easier okay so we have our lobster claw okay so now we close her back up okay you take your little things and you twist back the other way okay and there you have it now for some extra durability if you want and sometimes I do this you can just put two jump rings, you know, to make it a little bit more sturdy. All right, now let's get our book here. There is our hole. What I like to do is take a needle and get it through, get it through there, okay? I hope you can see that. Then we take our lobster claw and I got these lobster claws. I don't do jewelry and all that kind of stuff, but we slip that under there and it voila, okay? Um, I don't do jewelry stuff, you know, so I, I just happened to be in Michael's one day and found a set of these things, like they were uh, literally a dollar or three dollars, one, you know, one to three dollars, okay? So you don't need to, you know, it doesn't, your stuff doesn't need to break the bank, okay? So now look, isn't that adorbs, right? so stinking cute okay and then what I like to do is I have a bulb pin here and I did make if you guys saw I'm not sure but if you guys saw or didn't see it, it's okay <laughs> um, I made these little uh, these little tags and this one says love so I am just going to hopefully put this bulb pin in here right just like that and I'm gonna go to my chain and I'm gonna put it through one of the loops okay and let's get on there securely all right 
Now, will this go through? Yep. Okay. It goes right through there. All right. So. Oh, all up in your grill. Look at that. Jeez. Okay. So there you have it, right? Isn't that adorable? I really like that, okay? And then you can add other things onto your chain. You know, like I will add something else. Or you could add little beads onto the bottoms of these things, just tie them on. You know, this right here can hold another bulb pin, you know, with, um, with something dangling, you know, off of it. But anyway, that's how I do it, okay? I have this here. You could also put this chain onto this thing, but he, the reason I like when I showed you how I move the jump ring, the, the opening and closing of the jump ring to the center, in, so it's inside here, all right? It's not gonna come undone, all right? Um, so that's why I do that. And then there you have it. That's super cute, huh? Super cute. Oh gosh, that wasn't nearly as painful as Wednesday's video. I apologize profusely for that. So anyhow, that's how this one is shaping up. I'm already using it. You're seeing this hump Friday. Yep, so I'm already using this pretty baby and I had so much fun making it and it really is not that difficult. It is super, super easy. Anybody can do it. Um, you know, it's just using, a, you can even use a clasp envelope, you know, a yellow, one of those yellow orangey clasp envelopes. You can use that if you want and because you're gonna cover it anyway. And in Wednesday's video, I showed you how I made this cover and more specifically how I made mistakes on this cover and fixed them and how I covered the corners, you know, so that you don't see the envelope, how I fixed sort of, although, whoops, where am I? Yeah, sort of how, how I reinforced this pocket here. Yeah, and so there you have it. There you have it. All done, beautiful, ready to be worked in. Loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it. I love this rosette too, so pretty. Anyway, okay, that's it. So I thank you so much for sharing your time. I need to do something with this. Maybe tie a knot or something, I don't know. Anyway, um, yes, thank you so much for sharing your time with me. I really do appreciate it. I know your time is precious and y'all, oh my gosh. You are so gracious to me <laughs> in watching these videos. And, you know, I like to ramble, obviously, because that's what I'm doing right now. But if you want to see what I'm doing and still hear and, you know, listen to what I'm saying, speed up the video, okay? Yeah, speed up the video. I should have said that in Wednesday's video, too. But go up to your little toggle thing there and speed it up. You can still see everything that I'm doing, hear everything that I'm saying, and it just goes by a lot quicker, so it's a lot less painful, okay? Y'all need endurance if you're going to watch uh, my videos. You need endurance and you need stamina, okay? So I appreciate y'all very much for that. And I will let you go. So I hope this inspired you. I hope it encouraged you to maybe make your own, you know? It's super duper simple, super simple. And you come out with this, with a beautiful, you know, book that you can use for the entire month of your journaling. And uh, yeah, so thank you again. And have a wonderful rest of your day. Have a great week. And I'll talk to y'all real soon. Bye for now.